Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new hub in VR Chat. Now, for all of you who don't actually know what VR Chat is, uh, it is a social-based game that you can find on Steam as well as of course find in on their website uh, on vrchat.com. I definitely will check that out. I will definitely be leaving a link in the description for you guys, both for the Steam uh, store page as well as of course the link to the web page. Uh, it is a free-to-play game, so definitely check it out if you have the opportunity to do. Uh, despite the name VR Chat, it is playable on the computer. You do not have to have VR. So, for those of you who are actually familiar with VR Chat, what I figured this video could be is more of a tour of the new hub. Uh, that's just been released a couple of days ago, as I said. So the very first thing I do want to actually show off to you guys is, of course, the mini-map that's actually been in the screen this entire time. So as you can see here, the little mini map that we have here actually shows off a lot of little things like the individuals running around the map. Uh, the little red dots indicate the, the position of any other players that are currently on the map, as well as, of course, showing little icons here and there that show the different locations that we can go to on the mini map. Now, I'm not going to go to the help area because I'm pretty sure that's pretty self-explanatory. If you need any further assistance and actually learning how to play the game or anything like that, I definitely suggest going to the help area. It'll definitely give you some additional advice and everything like that for us to actually be for you to actually get around and everything like that. Um, and but of course, also remember that this is a very friendly community, and feel free to join the Discord or anything else like that. It'll be happy; they'll be happy to assist as much as they can. Uh, most people, even just around the, the world, will be happy to help you if you simply ask them. So feel free to do so. The first location we're actually going to be going to is going to be the Avatar Hall. So as you can see in the Avatar Hall here, we actually um, have a mirror here similar to the original hub. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the original hub, which I guess most people are probably not going to be too happy about, but I, I imagine that this is going to end up getting just as much uh, traffic as the original hub's uh, mirror, mirror room did. And uh, it also has a nice little addition here that is a lot different from the original hub's uh, location, where it has these additional user avatars that we can pick on to. Uh, you can choose any one of these. It also has connections to one of these featured avatars, which is something I thought was really cool. Uh, this is a featured avatar currently right now. Uh, it's Tom by Mr. Tom Nomi. I do apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. Uh, but this is going to be something that I think that I was talking to Ron about. Uh, he said that this was going to be a, 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 an actual like pedestal. And they, I suppose they might be adding more at some point. Where it would be in fact showing off uh, the different uh, avatars that players make. And you can come over here and you can click on them. And that would be an awesome thing to actually see. Um, now, of course, obviously, I do believe that this is going to be one of those really heavily populated areas, and I expect lots and lots of people to end up coming over here in, in, this, in the future uh, once, the, once the actual hub starts to get more popular and starts to get more traffic. So, let's go back to the mini-map real quick here and look at the next location we're going to be going to. So, the first location we want to go to is the Panosphere. So here we are at the panel sphere. Uh, it doesn't look horribly exciting when we first get here, but I can promise you it gets a lot better here. Uh, see, as you can see, there's a couple of seating areas here. Uh, so that way, if you come with your friends, you can come and sit down here for a moment and have a nice conversation. You can see the event hall from here. As you can see, there's a large billboard on the side that gives you a little bit of the event information about like different events that are going to be coming occurring during the weeks. Uh, they even have some PDAs over here, which do the same thing as those billboards, actually give you a little bit of information about all the different uh, events that are going on around the map and around the worlds. Uh, but they also have this big, huge sphere here. Now, what is this sphere? Let's go and check that out. Whoa! What is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, well, if you look at this, when you actually enter the sphere, it actually shows you off a full 360-degree picture uh, when you enter it. Now, this picture does change, which will probably change here in just a moment for us. Uh, but you can constantly look around. And it does, in fact, show us off all the little different things. And we can just see all these different things. Whenever someone's having, like, some fun, they can take a quick, quick picture and probably post it in here. I'm not really entirely sure how they plan on doing that exactly. But I'm pretty sure that it's going to end up becoming one of those nice big things that they're going to be doing. That any player can just come in here and add their pictures to it and see all the exciting things going on around VR chat, Which I think is going to be really awesome to see. So let's go ahead and get out of the sphere. Uh, now, it's a little hard to get out of the sphere. It's hard to tell where you are in the sphere, but all you have to do is just start running, and eventually you'll come to one of the edges, and you'll come right out, and you can just walk back around to the other end. So that's pretty much the panosphere. Um, as you can see, there's also like a little aquarium thing here. So before we go anywhere else, I want to show that off to you guys real quick. 
Um, so as you can see, there's little fishies running around in here. But, oh, what is this? A little button. Uh, what does that do? Click. Oh, look at that. You can feed the fish. And guess what? The fish even go and eat the food. How awesome is that? A uh, little, little little neat little thing that they added to, the, to it. And I thought that was really awesome. I thought I'd show that off to you guys. So let's go ahead and go back over here to the, to the map so we can see what's going to happen on next. All right, so the next thing we're going to be going and looking at here is going to be the social sculpture. Uh, this is a really interesting addition, and I'm, I'm really happy they actually added this to it. Um, so let's go ahead and take, take a quick look at that. All right, so as you can see here, the social sculpture, there's not a whole lot over here. we got another aquarium, another side of the event hall with some more uh, billboards, other things like that. Uh, but here in the center, we got this little um, pool kind of thing going on. And what is this? We got these little floaty interactables and everything as well, too. So what are all that? So what this all is, is this is actually a fairly interesting addition, I thought, was um, thing is that these are all interactables that are sort of like in a non-gravitational pole area that you can interact with. And you can put them and post them and put them in any location you want to. But as you can obviously see as well, they've got this little particle effect that's bouncing around, kind of like a waterfall little thing. Uh, and you can put these little bricks and have them influence where the waterfall hits and where it flows. Uh, and as long if it's obviously if you're in VR, it's a little bit easier to manipulate these things, but uh, you can still do it even in uh, desktop mode. So feel free to come over here whenever you want to. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what people do with this. Uh, I definitely am waiting to see some pictures of this and see what people like to do with it, uh, both for the hilarity of it, because I imagine some funny videos or fun, some Im funny images coming out of it. Uh, but I definitely also want to see some pretty funny or some pretty awesome artistic uh, things with it as well. So I thought this was a really cool addition and um, definitely can't wait to see what, what comes out of it. Uh, not a lot other than that. Uh, there's a little shield here that does prevent you from being able to take the uh, objects out. So, And that's understandable. Uh, definitely a good idea, I think, in the long run. So glad they did that as well. Um, so let's go on ahead and see what we've got next in the next area. All right. So here at the mini-map, uh, we still haven't gone to the event hall. As you've seen, looked around the event hall as we've gone to the uh, two artistic locations. Uh, it's pretty much showing you what you have. I uh, will take a quick little jump over to the event hall just to give it a quick look at it uh, to show it off. Uh, so let's go and do that now. All right, so here at the event hall, as you can see, it's a nice big open area. There's not really any seating or anything like that, but it's a nice place to congregate, I would say, uh, for a large group of people. Uh, these are different uh, the different locations where events are going to be occurring. Uh, you'll see all the, the different scheduled days as to when things are going to be occurring, like Monday had nothing on it. On Tuesday, you see casual meditation and Gunter's universe, uh, and it'll show you the rest of them as we go along. It also, of course, has those connections to a few of these different uh, locations like the presentation room, the avatar testing room, the great pug, and, of course, the hub. Uh, these aren't necessarily a connection straight to one of the worlds or anything like that that are occurring or that are one of these events are occurring at. But they are going to be uh, good portals to just go to if you never need to find one of these portals like for the avatar testing and the hubs or anything else along those lines. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it's pretty much just a schedule or place to go to to find out some additional news and scheduling for events and everything like that if you want to actually go and do that. So back here at the map, let's go ahead and go to the next few areas, which are going to be the Featured Worlds area as well as the New Worlds area. But let's go to the Featured World areas first. So here we are at the Featured World areas. Um, as you can see, it's a kind of a big open area that they don't have a whole lot here for seating or anything like that, but that's okay. Uh, this area shows off some of the featured locations that are basically, I'd say, featured by the devs. Not 100% not sure exactly what it is that's uh, got these uh, into the place that they've been, but they are pretty popular locations to go to. Uh, I would say most people uh, should definitely check these locations out at least once. Um, definitely uh, like these worlds myself. I've gone to a couple of them. I have yet to go to the art show, so definitely I'm going to be trying to check that out at some point. Uh, but the Great Pug is great, and so is Beeple Hub. Uh, both of them are great. Uh, these don't change, I think, very often. I I'm sure that they will probably be changed as more worlds are added and more worlds get featured. Uh, but definitely something you want to keep your eye on. Probably come and check them every day just to see what all new worlds are being featured and come out and see which ones are being the most popular at the time. So let's go on back to the mini-map. All right, so the last location on the agenda here is going to be the New Worlds location. So let's go and go there now. All right, guys, so here we are at the New Worlds area. Um, as you can see here, we've got a couple of little portals just like similar to the Featured Worlds. Um, however, there's a little bit of a difference here. 
Uh, obviously, of course, the worlds up here are not the same as the worlds that were down here. But we, as you can see, as they're going out right now, the worlds do in fact change to different worlds. The, that way you can actually see all the different worlds that are coming on uh, as the pe more and more creators create more worlds, which I thought was a great addition. Um, as more worlds get added, more people can see what's going on, and we can actually come up here and actually check to see which ones are new, which ones are, are coming out, you know, which ones are popular, and everything like that. And I think this is a great way to actually show off all the newer worlds, because a lot of times these types of worlds go missing, and we just don't end up seeing them. And, and that's a little unfair, I'd say, to some of these creators. So I think this was a great addition by the developers uh, to help help some of the creators actually get some, some sort of... Uh, advertisement I guess you could call it so let's go and go back to the minimap real quick alright guys so there's no real other area location left to go to so let's just go on ahead back head back to the spawn area alright guys well I am gonna go on ahead and end that video that is the new hub I definitely hope any new players or of course even old players are having maybe trouble navigating uh, were helped out by this video I definitely hope this uh, gave you a little bit of information about what's going on in this uh, location uh, again, definitely check out the help location if you're having any trouble uh, with the with the game itself, especially if you're new. Um, if you guys uh, have any uh, comments or anything like that you'd like to leave in the comments below, definitely feel free to do so. Uh, you guys know the drill by now, though, for the rest of the video. If you liked it, go and hit that like button. If you really liked it, go and hit that share button. And if you loved it, go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, if you'd like to follow any of my videos and keep up when they get posted, feel free to hit that notification button so you can get notifications when they happen. If you'd like to watch my uh, live streams, feel free to follow me out over on Twitch. Uh, also, of course, if you're new to the game or you haven't ever played the game at all, and this is the first time you've ever ever seen anything about VRChat, feel free to go on ahead and look at the description box below. There should be a link in there for both the Steam connection page for, for, for download, as well as, of course, the web page for VR VRChat. It's a great game. You don't have to have VR to play it, and I definitely suggest checking it out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I certainly hope you enjoyed, and of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. And don't forget to have fun.